Hello esteemed viewer and welcome to this recording of one Pokemon battle I had when I went to a Pokemon VGC XYA tournament uh, at Good Games Newcastle. So this is the very first round, game one of the first round. Uh, the format is VGC doubles, four on four doubles. So I am currently using, and I will be for the rest of the tournament, a sunny day team. The idea is set up sun, Venusaur uses Growth to raise its attack and a special attack, and then Venusaur is meant to uh, get through things and break them. Which sort of worked and sort of didn't, so we'll see how it goes. This is the first battle of the day, versus some guy named Daniel, who has led with Gliscor and Agron. I have made a bit of a silly move here, I should have Giga Drain the Agron and then you turn the Agron, I should have remembered that the Agron has Sturdy, but I did not, and so I made a bit of a mistake. Oh well. Then he got a critical on Venusaur, which basically took away all the momentum that my team had in this battle. You'll notice there, there's my shiny um, Florges, which I spent a lot of time breeding for. I'm very proud of that Florges. Uh, mostly because it's gorgeous, it's pretty. Um, I specifically wanted the shiny Florges because I knew that shiny Florges would be purple. Uh, purple is my girlfriend's favorite color, and I actually I associate Florges with my Rebecca, which is why this one's name is Becca Bebe. So it's the red flower one because red is my favorite color, and it's purple dressed. So yeah, that's the origin of that. So I just took down the Alakazam with U-turn. It looks like I sort of looks like I'm starting to gain momentum back in this battle. And seriously, I think if it hadn't been for the fact that um, he's now got uh, this Kangaskhan, I probably would have done probably would have taken away this battle. But Mega Kangaskhan is a destructive tank, and yeah, Sucker Punch is annoying. And Floor just can't really fight back now. It can Moonblast for a bit of its um, HP, but as long as he keeps attacking, I'm going to be dead. So, yeah. He's got this battle, and because it is a um, best of three thing, for this video I am actually giving you all three battles that I had with this uh, opponent. Which probably tells you that I won the second battle which is coming up right now. So, because you are allowed to switch your um because you are allowed to switch your Pokémon in between battles, he's now leading with Gliscor and Raichu. I'm still leading with Crobat and Venusaur. I apologize for the blurry screen. I am still recording this on my phone, which is not too amazing. Uh, don't blame me, getting a capture card is incredibly expensive. So Venusaur's growth has happened again, but it's paralyzed this time because of Nuzzle. And that is going to annoy me throughout this battle, because, um, yeah, he, he manages to, like, Venusaur gets um, paralyzed a lot in this battle. So Crobat's down, Venusaur is still hanging in there. And it did Giga Drain the Raichu and get most of its HP back. Um, even with the Paralysis, Venusaur's got the Chlorophyll and Summon stuff, so that's pretty good. So now here's my Flame of Udun, my Chandelure. And my Chandelure is on the team because it is a Sun team, and I have been expect I do expect that people would use Fire type attacks against Venusaur. It never happened, which was weird. Also, it acts as a pretty decent supporter, being able to um, Will-O-Wisp and uh, I think it carries something else. Will-O-Wisp and it's got coverage, I think. Um, it dies to, I think it was Sucker Punch or Shadow Claw, and which doesn't matter either way, it's dead. Um, Venusaur is still here, just not doing anything because of paralysis and because I choose to protect from time, turn to turn. So out comes Smaug. Smaug is going to protect, and Smaug has set up ni a nice amount of sun for me. And Venusaur is still busy, which is really annoying. So I go with Heatwave, 
which should hit both of them. It doesn't, but still takes out that Gliscor one shot, which is fantastic. Um, Sunny Heatwave is incredible, as I'm finding out throughout this whole day. More Paralysis. Oh, I hate par Paralyze. I actually hate every status condition, but Paralysis is really annoying. So there's a Sucker Punch, which is admittedly quite scary, especially after the Power-Up Punch. But Charizard still takes it, because the burn has halved Mega Kangaskhan's attack. It'd be nice if that um, Heat Wave also hit the Aggron, but it didn't. But that's fine, because this turn, Venusaur did get to attack, and it used Giga Drain, which was amazing. So Smaug is down, Mirkwood's still here, it's Mirkwood versus Aggron, and Mirkwood took it down. So, we're down to a third match, and this is actually the only battle all day where- the only round all day where I have a third match. Um, every other round was taken 2-0. to zero. So, this time I've decided to lead with Smaug and Venusaur, and this is a lesson that I remember through the rest of the day, because it's so much better to have Drought set up through the ability and be able to attack or protect than it is to go Sunny Day, then try to U-turn out of there. And I got really lucky with that Protect there, because he tried to use two attacks on Charizard to take it out, which didn't work. So, uh, Sunny Growth um, Giga Drain took out Gliscor, and then Heatwave took out Raichu, It's now down to Sylveon and Kangaskhan, which I guess will Mega Evolve, because of course it will. And we'll just see what happens. I already know what happens. Giga Drain eats half of um, that thing's health, then Heat Wave takes it down, Sylveon is left, and Sylveon uses Light Screen, which is actually pretty clever. I mean, all I can do is use special attacks, but it doesn't matter because I am Sunny Growth Boosted. So that was the first round, victory to me, next one will be up soon. Bye!